The efforts to de-escalate tensions at the Ukrainian border continue this morning. President Joe Biden will speak with transatlantic leaders today about the renewed Russian military buildup along Ukraine's border. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris is traveling to Germany to speak with national security officials from around the world. While COVID cases are dropping around the U.S., officials continue to monitor the stealth variant, or BA2, which is 30 to 50 percent more contagious than the Omicron variant. The good news, health experts say we have the tools to fight the virus. The former Minnesota police officer who pulled out her gun instead of taser during a traffic stop is expected to be sentenced today. Kim Potter was found guilty of murdering Dante Wright last year after shooting him while yelling taser. She claimed to have grabbed the wrong weapon. Wright's family have asked for the strongest and most just sentence possible for Potter. Reports of sexual assault are increasing sharply at American military academies. In the last academic year, 161 reports of sexual assault were filed at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, the U.S. Naval Academy, and the Air Force Academy. The Department of Defense says it's unclear what has led to the increase. Kraft Heinz could be raising prices on grocery items for a second time this year. The company makes things like Philadelphia cream cheese, Oscar Mayer, Capri Sun, and Kool-Aid. The company says the steeper prices will help offset its own higher costs brought on by inflation. The IRS ramping up its effort to address a massive backlog of tax returns and correspondence. Officials say the agency is set to stand up a second, quote, surge team for this purpose. The IRS has already redirected about 1,200 employees back into entry-level clerical positions. Their job now, to manually file paperwork and answer phones in an effort to shrink the backlog. The FDA is warning parents to double-check labels if they're using powdered infant formula. The popular powdered brands at issue are from Abbott Nutrition, labeled Similac, Alimentum, and Elecare. The FDA is investigating whether formulas made at a facility in Sturgis, Michigan could include dangerous bacteria. There have been reports of four infants hospitalized and one death in three states. Details about this recall can be found on the FDA's website. If you're thinking of joining Amazon Prime today, it'll cost you more than yesterday. Earlier this month, the e-commerce giant announced the price for an annual membership will go up $20 from $119 to $139, and the monthly fee will go up $2 from $12.99 to $14.99. Price hike takes place for a new member starting today. For existing members, their price change will happen in late March. A 24-year-old woman from Puerto Rico is Victoria's Secret first model with Down syndrome. Sofia Harrell appears in a diverse campaign with a group of others to promote the lingerie brand's new Love Cloud collection. In 2020, she became one of the few models with Down syndrome to walk in New York Fashion Week. And that's today's Night at Nine.